What you see in the background is one of our 3D printers. 3D printer, as you can see, is building up structures layer by layer. You can now take 3D structures that are built on this printer and then use water or heat or both and allow the shapes that you've printed to transform into another shape over time. And that process where over time a shape folds or moves into a different shape. So for example, you could have something that is open and then slowly closes as we immerse this in water. That process is called 4D printing. In a paper that we've recently published in the journal Rapid Macromolecular Communication, we use 4D printing as a tool to make a valve that closes and opens itself under the influence of water and temperature as the activation for this device. Again, 4D printing is where you go from one 3D shape into another shape. So you take 3D printed structures, you add time to this, and then they form into another structure that can perform a whole range of different functions. If you could make buildings where if you add water or heat they can shape, they can change their shape and perform a different functionality. Or for example you could have products that will increase their comfort or functionality by just adding water or heat to them. Or you can think of all kinds of different types of products. Again, 4D printing is probably a very interesting technology that is going to help us shape the future of our materials design just like 3D printing is doing at the moment.